this video, we're going to cover one of the most fundamental principles to increasing your speed as well as reducing the wear and tear on your joints, and that's the foot strike. Whether you're a novice or an advanced runner, the foot strike is a fundamental principle that's going to help you either with long-term use and healthy joints or short-term abuse and damaged joints and potential arthritis and tendonitis from uh, improper running. So what we want to do today is teach you how to execute the foot strike properly to improve your running technique and reduce your chance of injury. Um, the foot should land rather than heel toe uh, more flat or even upwards on the ball of the foot. This doesn't mean you should point your toe and land up on your toes when you run. What it means is the position of your foot as it falls on the ground needs to be directly under the hip. If you're running with a heel toe foot strike, that means that your foot is coming down out in front of your body, absorbing some of your forward momentum and then rolling you onto your next step. What happens when your foot lands out in front of your body is it acts almost like a brake or a stopper and it resists some of your forward momentum. That momentum is then absorbed into the heel, into the knee, into the hip, and into the lower back where vibrations will occur. And foot strike after foot strike, year after year, can start to cause wear and tear on the joints and tendons. When you're running properly, you should have a very tall posture and a slight forward lean. If you're standing with a nice tall posture and your foot strike lands instead of out in front of you, but flat footed directly underneath the hip, then your heel is not absorbing any of your forward momentum. In fact, you're almost barely catching yourself as you fall into that next step. If you can continue that momentum without stopping yourself by landing out in front, you can reduce the damage on your joints and improve both your speed and efficiency while you're running. The way it should fall is either directly under the hip, flat-footed, or even slightly behind the hip depending on your forward momentum, and this is what would bring you up onto the ball of your foot. A great way to learn how to run safely and effectively with the foot strike underneath or behind the hip is to use resistance band training. This can be done by strapping a resistance band around your waist and tying it to a firm anchor, then running in place away from that anchor with a slight forward lean. This will help you get comfortable with the slight forward lean feeling so you're not actually up on your tippy toes reaching out for your next step more your foot is landing centered directly under your hips, forcing you to be more on the front half of your foot as you roll into that next step.